Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. Yeah, only a quick one really, um, running out of time a little bit here, but what I wanted to update you about is that my view to yesterday's last ADA video hasn't changed. So in my opinion, we are still here in the wave four in purple. That wave four in purple might retrace a little bit more. Um, and it's interesting how this is now going to play out because my primary expectation, I mean, even for Bitcoin, my primary expectation is still a lower low. As I said in the Bitcoin video, I haven't changed my primary expectation to breakout scenario yet, but I'm following it very closely. Yeah, so for me, the breakout isn't yet confirmed because we have seen parts of confirming price action, but not everything. For ADA, I have much more difficulties to um, justify a breakout scenario. Therefore, I'm not charting it out specifically here because we have still not made a lower low compared to that wave three low from um, the 12th of May, the 38 and a half cent level. It can be, we can make it work with a wave count that would allow that, um, that we say, all right, the, the low is also in here and we're now working on an impulsive move up in a breakout. The problem is if you look at the bigger picture, it would only be possible when we apply, um, yeah, some something that is very unlikely, which is a so-called truncated wave, which would allow that wave five here to finish above the wave three, which is not really something I want to do. Then we would have this wave count. We came down in three. We moved up in a four, moving down in a wave five in in a, in, a, in a truncated wave. Not really a friend of that, honestly. So my view at the moment is we are still going to see one more lower low. That, however, is the higher Bitcoin goes, probably <laughs> getting less likely. But what you need to understand as well, I did explain that yesterday, that when Bitcoin finishes its correction, usually, or at least we've seen in the past, that the altcoins kept dropping for another couple of weeks. So it could really be that ADA will still make a lower low while Bitcoin already is going higher. That is certainly possible. But what would we expect for this wave for primarily now? So you can see that here, um, no, in second, wave four, <clears throat> five. Yeah, no, sorry, this would this should be wave three. Um, in this wave four, how high can we go? So it could really be that only the wave A of that wave four has now been finished. So wave A is an impulsive wave as well. And if we take the bigger picture into account, we never really made a lower low compared to that one from the 12th of May. That means I am more leaning towards this being a wave A, especially the price action wasn't really convincing yesterday here compared to, for example, what Ethereum did, A, B, C. Yeah, this is what I imagine could happen here, um, that we now see a wave B down in line with Bitcoin's correction down, and then we'll see a higher high, but that could only be the wave C of a wave four, out of which we will then draw, dump down in another wave five. So very interesting how this is going to play out. As I said, possible breakout, yes, but very, 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 very unlikely in my opinion, yeah? Very unlikely. So where would that wave four ideally retrace to? We can also here use the Fibonacci retracement tool and apply it and calculate the retracement levels for the wave um, four. And you can see here that ideally we're looking here for a price level of 51.6 cents, the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level. This is what I'd be, uh, where I would be expecting in a wave C also significant resistance and ideally it should not go above the wave one low which is at 53.6 cents so ideally we don't want it to go above this target area okay technically already possible to finish it off here at this 23.6 percent fib level but this is already where the wave a reached it so um i think we will see a wave b down and then a wave c up reaching this area between the 51.6 and the wave one low here, because above the wave one low, um, it would be invalidated. Yeah, and then we can more seriously, if we really go above that level and invalidate the wave one here and the impulse down, then we have to look at it from a from a point of view where we say, okay, maybe this is already the breakout and maybe ADA is already working on the breakout and we have to be a bit more bullish here. Good. That is my view about ADA. So hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe. And if you really like the content, check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.